A couple of months ago, fans were wondering if Jenna Duggar was stepping back from some family duties. The Duggars have had a lot on their plates as they brace themselves for Josh Duggar's well-deserved conviction. But Josh is not the only member of the family in legal trouble, and this one involves kids too. It has now been confirmed that Jenna has been charged with endangering the welfare of a minor. After Jenna's criminal charge was initially reported by a blogger, in Touch Weekly confirmed the news by speaking with the Elm Springs district clerk. Jenna Duggar has been charged with endangering the welfare of a child. According to the report, it wasn't clear if the 31-year-old overly put upon eldest daughter had entered a plea yet. Arkansas law makes this charge a misdemeanor, which can be class A or class B. A conviction or a guilty plea could lead to a fine or to jail time depending upon various factors. While in touch weekly confirmed the news, the first report came from without a crystal ball's Katie Joy. As Katie Joy reported on Instagram, Jenna is the latest dugger in hot water with the law. Last night, a family insider contacted us about a Duggar family member being charged with endangering the welfare of a minor. After the insider revealed the information, we reached out to Elm Springs District Court in Arkansas. Without a crystal ball reached out in order to verify if charges were filed. The county clerk confirmed that on September 10, 2021, Jenna Duggar was charged with endangering the welfare of a minor. They did not reveal any further details about the specifics of the case. The Family Insider told us that Jenna Duggar allegedly pleaded not guilty to the charges and her next court date is in January. We are still working to confirm more details at this time, without a crystal ball emphasized. Katie Joy was quick to emphasize that the district court only deals with misdemeanor cases. Based upon Arkansas law, endangering the welfare of a minor can be either a class A or B misdemeanor. Penalties can range from up to 30-90 days in jail to fines. It is important to note that child endangerment does not mean a child was physically hurt. It can mean there was risk of harm. We will continue to update as we learn more. Yesterday, we reported that the insider said the children in Jenna's care allegedly wandered off the Duggar's property. We have not confirmed the specifics. Please know we will update with more as it is learned. Obviously, we do not know exactly what happened or what allegedly happened either. Legally speaking, Jenna is considered innocent until proven guilty. It is not impossible to imagine a scenario in which Jenna takes the blame for something that is not her responsibility. Jenna does not actually have any children, but has spent her entire life toiling to watch after her parents' endless brood. It is also possible that she genuinely screwed up while attempting to provide childcare. The Duggar family is no place to raise a child. Even without the obvious threat of Josh, who is now behind bars where he belongs, it's an abusive cult. But just because the Duggar home is a house of horrors doesn't mean the kids need to, say, wander into traffic or whatever happened. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.